I still couldn't believe it. You know, it, I heard the words, and if you actually look at the video, I, you know, I begin to rub my head and, and in amazement, you know, to see if this is real, because I had many a dreams, you know, while in the county jail and on death row that I was free just to turn over to the side and maybe hit my arm on the wall and to wake up. And uh, I thought maybe this was that dream. And I just was rubbing my head and rubbing my head and like, you know, is it real? And when I finally, you know, it clicked in when they, you know, went to like, I believe it was count three, you know, all three counts of first degree murder, not guilty. I had six counts in total. The other two were, uh, the other three was armed robbery, armed burglary and attempted robbery. And when they got to three, I was like in amazement. I dropped to my knees and I prayed. And uh, still to this day, even when I'm outside, you know, and um, I maybe see the beach, something beautiful, you know, and I ask myself still to this day, is this real? Is this a dream? Am I gonna wake up? Your ordeal lasted almost 18 years. And you were on death row for six of those years. Has anyone talked to you about compensation yes. for the time that you're never going to get back? They have a, a law here in the state of Florida. It's called the, um, the Cleans Bill Hand Act. That if you have no prior felonies, no prior convictions prior to the crime that you were accused of and eventually uh, exonerated from, you are eligible up to $50,000 per year. Well, since I had two prior felonies, I'm not eligible for it. And um, I think that's very unfair, you know, being judged by your past in, uh, in order to get compensated for something else that happened in the past but now is in the present. And um, I mean, I was just kicked out the door, bye. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. You know, it's just bye, go on about yourself. No um, counseling, no housing. Now the state of Florida, where you're living and where you were incarcerated, is now actually trying to put in place a law that would speed up the process. So while well, you spent six years on death row, in the future, if this proposal becomes law, uh, inmates would spend even less time there. What is your reaction to that if that does become law? My reaction to it was it blew me away because it's almost like I dodged a bullet. You know, if I, God forbid, I was still there and this law would have came to effect me actually coming to death row on a new sentence, I'd probably be dead. I wouldn't be talking to you guys out there right now. You know, I found the evidence along with a private investigator and a paralegal of mine that was on our defense team. Um, we found this evidence and it wasn't, the evidence wasn't given to us by the state of Florida or by the law enforcement uh, community, Miramar Police Department. They didn't give this to us. We found it by, you know, hard work. And um, How I many look cases at it, it took me 18 years to, un it took me 18 years to uncover that. 18 years from the date of my arrest, August, August of 1994, August 3rd of 1994 till 2000 and I believe in the beginning of 2012, you know, I found this evidence. So it was being withheld from me for that long. And my fear is what happens to others that are sentenced to death that may be innocent and usually in the state of Florida and, and throughout the United States, you know, a claim of innocence or evidence that's been hidden doesn't come to light in two or three years after your conviction. It's sometimes decades upon decades later, you know, and um, my fear is that we will be executing an innocent man. The state of Florida, by passing this bill, is trying to actually cover up the amount of people that are getting exonerated in the state of Florida. We lead the nation in the, exoner in the most exonerees in the United States. Every three executions, you have one exoneree. Something is wrong with that picture. There is something really wrong with that picture here in the state of Florida. And by speeding it up, we definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, we will be executing an innocent man or innocent woman that is sitting on death row.